So if you want to design an amplifier using a bipolar transistor, the first question that comes to mind is, well, where do I connect the input and where do I connect the output? And then if you think about it, we have three terminals. So I can connect the input to the base, or let me use a laser pointer. Um, I can connect the input to the base, um, to the emitter or to the collector. And same with the output. I can connect the output to the collector, to the emitter, to the base. So uh, three different variations for the three different options for the input, three different options for the output. So you can imagine that I can have nine different kind of amplifiers. Fortunately, well, uh, my options are not that diverse. Like basically, uh, there are some limitations there. And uh, those limitations really coming from understanding how did the amplifier work, right? So if you remember, we had this bipolar device and we said that the current I see here had an exponential relationship, IS, exponential of I, uh, VBE over VT, VBE being the voltage here, right? And then in the small signal analysis, we saw that we have this R pi between base and emitter. And then there was this voltage controlled current source here, which was the value was GMV pi. And then we had collector here. And uh, while well, we knew that we have an amplifier because this GM is actually some decent number. And then what happens is that basically we get, we, we take this voltage between base and emitter, and then we multiply it by some value GM. We call that GM V pi. And that will be the current that is flowing through the collector side. And that's how I get gain out of my, um, my transistor device, right? So this, by just looking at this, this circuit, it really tells me that uh, my input has to be somehow connected to the base or emitter, right? Because I have to change this V pi somehow so that the GM times V pi appears here and is amplified. And then, well, um, I have to get the collector current and then make my V out out of it, right? So basically, it's the changes like it's, it's what I've written here. So bipolar transistor operating in active mode respond to base emitter voltage variations by varying their collector current. Okay, so the, the, the initial trigger, the initial stimuli has to be applied to the base or emitter, meaning that the collector cannot be, like the input cannot be connected to the collector side, right? Because if you connect the input to the collector side, you're not changing base or emitter. You're not really uh, using your transistor as an amplifier. So this is a no-no. The other thing that we know is that, well, the output should be on the collector side, or like this GMV pi should be uh, somehow affecting the output. This current is affecting the current of the collector, and also it, it affects the current of the emitter because it adds with the current of the base and it goes to the emitter side, right? So the output has to be either on the collector side or the emitter side. It cannot be on the base side. So again, this is not an option. So if, if I only have two inputs and two outputs, like if I have two options for input and two options for output, then you can imagine that, well, I have only four options as a, for an amplifier. And then, well, if you look more closely, you will see that I cannot have these two at the same time, meaning that input is at the emitter and output is also at the emitter, right? So in reality, I only have three options. Option number one is when I apply my input to the base. So V in is applied to the base and V out is taken from the collector side, okay? And by the way, I'm not drawing the rest of the circuit on the collector, base, or emitter side, simply because I, I, I don't care about the rest of the circuit. As long as the V in is somehow connected to the base of the term, base terminal of my amplifier, it doesn't matter how many resistors or other transistors are connected to any of the terminals of this circuit. This is a configuration that I called common emitter, okay? In a second, I'm going to tell you why that name. But the first configuration is when V in is at the base, V out is taken from collector. The second configuration is again when um, V in is connected to the base, and V out is taken from the emitter. And collector is the the only terminal that is not connected to either of V in or V out. We call this common collector. And then the third one is 
then I have input connected to the emitter and output connected to collector and base is not connected to any of them so I'm gonna call this common base and you might have basically uh, by now you might have guessed why we call like basically what's the uh, kind of a rationale behind or not rationale what's the uh, kind of a method that we use for naming these stages basically we call this common emitter the first one we call it common emitter because emitter is not connected to input or output it's common between input and output that's the only terminal common and here collector is the one uh, the, in this circuit collector is the one that is not connected to either of them and here the base is the one that is not connected to input or output again um, as you will see later uh, there are a bunch of resistors and transistors that could be connected to the to this transistor right but what is important is that it doesn't matter what is connected to this to, like what is the rest of circuit look like as long as input is connected to the terminal for example to the emitter and the output is connected to the collector uh, we're going to call this a common base amplifier. There is another variation of this common emitter, which we call common emitter with degeneration. And that's like uh, basically, uh, it's so important that we're going to uh, discuss it uh, separately from this common emitter. Okay. So today we're going to talk about common emitter and the common emitter with degeneration, that, that special variation of this, this stage. And then next week we're going to talk about common collector and common base amplifiers, okay?